Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to draw and then paint a jack-o'-lantern. So to start drawing this, I am going to sketch a cylinder. The cylinder will help make our jack-o'-lantern three-dimensional. Add a dot in the center of the top face of the cylinder. Then we're going to draw lines that go from that dot and extend around the cylinder and curve around. So you're going to imagine this is three-dimensional and you are moving your pencil around the shape. And then when you get to the point where you can't draw lines to either side, just draw a line that connects them. The last line doesn't have to be touching that center dot, it just has to touch both of the sides to close in the shape we've made. So I sketched those lightly first, and now I'm going to go over them a second time with my pencil to make the lines darker and erase that cylinder. Now you see we're starting to get a pumpkin shape, except we need to add in the stem. So I'm going to erase a little bit from the center. And then I'm going to draw lines that connect each of the little portions of the pumpkin, except they're going to be a little more pointed. And then I'm going to draw this curvy shape that's kind of rectangular that comes up. And I want to make the edges of it a little wavy. For the stem, it can help to look at a real pumpkin. Then I'm going to go from those creases in the pumpkin and draw lines going up the stem to divide the stem. Now I'm going to turn this pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern by adding eyes, a nose, and a mouth. So I'm going to make the eyes into triangles. And then to make them look a little more three-dimensional, I'm going to draw some of the lines of the triangle again inside it a little bit. So this is like drawing the inner edge of it. Then at first, I drew the mouth with these rectangular teeth, and then I decided to give my jack-o'-lantern fangs. So you can use any shape for the face. I just went for some pretty common face shapes. And again, I'm going to draw that inner edge of the features of the face as if we had cut into it and you see that little edge. I decided I wanted to make those outer sections a little longer because my pumpkin was starting to look a little like a pepper. You know, like a sweet pepper has that bumpy bottom and a pumpkin's more round in general. So I wanted to make it look a little more round and less like a pepper, maybe. <laughs> Although I guess it could inspire you on how you would draw a pepper. So after I drew all these pencil lines, I went over all of them with a brown colored pencil except for the lines inside the stem. You want to make these lines thick but also smooth it out. By the way, I made this video play faster than I drew in real time. I actually filmed this last year and saved it until now because I ended up painting it around Halloween last year. I drew it very close to Halloween so it didn't give me enough time to edit it in time for people to watch it before Halloween. So here it is now. I went over the pencil lines inside the stem with a green colored pencil. Now I'm going to start painting my pumpkin. So first I am going to take about equal parts yellow and red, although it looks like I used a little more yellow than red. And then I am going to mix those together, adding a little bit at a time until I get the amount of an orange color that I want. Until I get the shade of orange that I want. So. Yellow and red paint combined together will form orange. 
And I'm just going to mix that together with my paintbrush and add water as needed. I am using acrylic paint and you can use acrylic paint without adding water. Although I like to use it if I want to make the colors not as solid because I want to still see that line work I made. So I'm going to water down the orange a little bit and just go over the whole jack-o'-lantern except for inside the eyes, nose, and mouth and also not go over the stem. So before we switch colors, make sure you wash off your paintbrush in water and also rub it against a paper towel to make sure you got all the color out and reshape it a little bit by pinching it. Now I'm going to take some green paint and also a dark yellow paint and mix that together so I get a greenish brown color for the stem. And I'm going to go over the entire stem with that. And don't worry, I know I went over my line work. Later I'm going to go over those brown lines I made in colored pencil with brown paint, so don't worry. So then I'm going to place down some yellow and white paint, which I'm going to mix later. And I'm going to take just the yellow to fill in the eyes, nose, and mouth as if there's something glowing inside the pumpkin, although I realize now I did not draw a line around the top as if someone had cut into the pumpkin, so it's mysteriously glowing. Then I mix that yellow and white paint together to get this tan kind of color, which I'm going to use to fill in that edge on the facial features. After that dried, I also went over them in orange, so this orange is going to be more solid than the orange I used to fill in the rest of the pumpkin. I also wanted to make the shade a little different, that's why I used the diff two different colors. Part of the reason I used both is because I didn't like how light it was at first, so I decided to make it darker with the orange. So now I'm going to take some dark brown paint and go over my original line work. I switched to a thinner brush for this so that I can make smaller lines. So I'm going to go over the outer lines and the lines on the sections with this. I also decided to make the lines on the stem brown, except I didn't draw them exactly the same as before. I followed the same guide, although I didn't make them go all the way through the stem. I kind of made them just fold in a little bit, but not all the way from top to bottom of the stem. So to make the jack-o'-lantern look more three-dimensional and add some shading, I'm going to make my brown lines a little thicker towards the bottom and then make them not as thick towards the top. So if there was a light that was kind of shining downward on it, you'd probably get a shadow coming around the bottom. Although I didn't really consider how a light would shine from the inside outward. My pumpkin's kind of cartoony because I went over the outer lines, which is fine. I like how it looks. Comment below if you like how I painted and drew it. If there's any videos that you'd like to see that are Halloween related, please let me know. I kind of already planned the videos for this year, although I can always film something for next year. So now we're almost finished the jack-o'-lantern. You want to make sure you leave plenty of time for your paint to dry before you touch it. And I'm just going to keep touching up that line work, re-dipping my paintbrush into the brown paint. So 
So we're getting close to the end of this drawing. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe for more Halloween videos. I'll have at least one more this year. I already filmed one where I drew bloody letters in acrylic paint. By the way, comment below if you mind if I use scary music in the next video. I was debating whether to do that or not. So, I don't think I'll make it too scary. But let me know if you'd rather it be scary or not. You can find more how-to videos on my channel, Variety Girl 1. I upload new videos every other Thursday. So please subscribe so you'll be notified when the next Halloween video is out. Give this a like if you'd like to see more Halloween videos. Thank you for watching.